Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are living in a society where competition is the norm. And to compete, we must have skills, certain qualities. Therefore, when a child goes to a school and does undergraduation, we put the child to several drills, mathematics, physics, chemistry, computing, sociology and so on and so forth. The end result is that after this child graduates high school, develops a vision of life, has certain capacities, can count, can manage, can communicate. And when this person can do it in a good manner, gets a good job. So ultimately, the school administration says, we produce graduates who are well placed in market. Their objective of life becomes marketability. The person joins the market and gradually improves his station, becomes a manager, becomes an executive, becomes a chief executive, becomes president of an organization. And at the end of the day, claims that I have achieved highest level in my specialized area. But at the same time we find, when this person is facing any crisis, then the person takes drugs. The same person, when facing some crisis, attends to a psychoanalyst, an applied psychologist and finds out what is the problem. And quite often, such human beings who have reached the highest level of their career, when they find some failures, they even commit suicides. What's objective of life then? To climb the highest level and then one day overdose some barbiturates and pass away or shoot and kill oneself. All these realities show us that human being should think more and more about what could be a good objective of life. Just material progress, pleasure, enjoyment, satisfaction of oneself or one can feel much better by serving others. A very interesting phenomena focused by Islam and that is if you have accumulated quite uh, good wealth, then you have to take out of it two and a half percent voluntarily for the benefit of those who are not well off, who are poor, in debt or in any difficulties. And this is done voluntarily in order to uplift others. The capitalist mind when loses a few pennies feels hurt, but Islamic mind when gives in uh, meeting needs of others feels much more elated, satisfied and pleasure. Which means the act of giving is not just act of giving, but act of my self-fulfillment. That I fulfill my duty, this duty towards my God, my creator. And when I fulfill that obligation, only then I feel satisfied. And this is the minimum I should do because my creator has blessed me with resources, blessed me with intelligence, blessed me with life, blessed me with a tenure to achieve my objectives. All these favors done by my creator demand that at least as a humble servant, I should do something on my, my own part. And that doing is by way of social welfare. That's why faith of a believer in Islam is incomplete if this person is not contributing to our society, towards well-being of the poor, the needy, the sick, the ignorant, all those who have not been able to achieve knowledge or good health. It is their right 
on the person who is earning. It is not a charity, it is not a favor. So, purpose of life is not a matter of just my own satisfaction, my own pleasure. The purpose of life is when I achieve that pleasure by serving servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, serving humanity and ultimately making contribution to the wealth of society, which means that I am not just an individual. I have to link myself with my creator, link myself with my family, link myself with the environment and particularly have to play my role positively towards people who are in need in society. That is how faith in Islam becomes dynamic. That is how human being in Islam becomes holistic. We always say that Islam wants to create a holistic man, not confined to himself, not confined to his family, not confined to his profession either, but with all his responsibilities as individual, as professional, one has to play a dynamic role for uplift of society. Only then life becomes meaningful. Only then purpose of life is achieved and that purpose is to experience that pleasure which please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That satisfaction, that uh, feeling of uh, completeness which a human being feels when you have done something good. It is no different than when you have a child of your own and you find the child not only with a smiling face, but the child learns how to walk, how to climb. You feel that you have a self-fulfillment while the child is walking properly because you have been able to train the child. Similarly, objective of life in Islam is not only serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala individually, but serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by serving his mankind, humanity, by giving people their due and that is how enjoying yourself and having the pleasure of doing that duty. This is how Islam looks on human being, male and female, all human beings are to be approached from this holistic viewpoint of ethical fulfillment and then success in life hereafter.